Hi everyone, welcome back to Code with Yusuf channel. In this video, we will explain the concept of data models and the BMS, various types of data models, advantages and disadvantages of data models. So I hope this video will help you to have the concept of data models. So first we will come that what is data model with us, okay? Uh, first, the model. The model is the representation uh, of object, real world object, concepts, or events and also the association of them it's called the model and the data model is the uh, to describe the data to manipulate the data and also to make the relationship between data and to apply constraints in that data it's called data model with us okay the data model um, in the point that the data model will just represent our data in pictorial okay in models which will be easy for all stuff of the organization for the developers and for all employees okay you will understand it easily and now we will come to the types of data models so we have different types of data models the first one is the hierarchical model in the hierarchical model uh, it is a very old the oldest model which was developed by the IBM in 1950s and this in the hierarchical model it is tree like structure okay so we will come to the an example so it is a hierarchical model with us okay we dis display we showed our data in this model in hierarchical model okay uh, like for the vehicles okay the vehicle is the parent with us in hierarchical model we have a parent and many children the vehicle is the parent with us and also it has the children two wheelers and four wheelers then the two wheelers bike scooter and the four wheelers car tractor and minibus and also for the car sedan and SUVs so it was hierarchical model we display our data like this in this model okay uh, the second one is the network model with us okay the network model is nothing but the generalized form of hierarchical model the generalized form of hierarchical model so uh, this uh, data model allows us to make many to many relationships and also the network model can be represented as a graph okay as a graph as the hierarchical tree with graphs okay so we will come to the so in this uh, we uh, which uh, we have the nodes and their relationship come to the example that it is an example for us for the network model okay the college then the department in college and then they all came to the director okay the ages the nodes and ages of them the relationship of them okay so it was the network model with us it make a network and the third one is the entity relationship model it is it is very common diagram AR we can see AR diagram AR model uh, entity relationship model is a high level data model that describes the structure of the data database in a pictorial form which is known as ER diagram it is a very common diagram see it we have two entities company and employee and employee works in company and every one of them has their own attributes like company registration number and name and for the employee we have the attributes of employee id name and date of birth date of job okay so it was the ER model with us the fourth number is the relational model with us uh, the role relational model this is the most widely accepted data model in this model uh, we represent our data in relations rows in columns in two dimensional table okay see this we display our uh, data in this model like this okay it's to for the student student id name and branch these these are the data for the students so it is the relational model with us and the fifth one is the object oriented data model with us as suggested by its name the object oriented data model is combination of object oriented programming and relational data models before we studied the relational model and also the uh, it is the combination of object oriented programming model and also the relational model it is a combination of that okay uh, in this data model the data and the relationship are represented in a single structure which is known as an object okay in this uh, we store um, our data in object we can store audio video image and others which is difficult in our relational model so in this we can uh, display that uh, easily so come to the example for example for employee these are the attributes for us and also for the department object oriented we display their at data in in object the sixth one is the object relational data model again as the name suggests the object relational data model is in our integration of the object oriented model and the relational model okay 
Science it inherits properties from both of models, both of them. Okay, it inherits from both object and from relational model. Come to the example, it is the relational data model with us and also object oriented data models. So it inherits the data from both of these tables in this diagram, in this model. The seventh one is the flow data model. The flow data model consists of a single two dimensional array of data elements. For example, in the two dimensional array, we can have one column as username and the other one the password. See it and there should be duplicate and there should be no duplicate in this model. Okay, see it. We have this. It is an example for flow data model. We have username and password. These are the columns with us. Here we don't have the duplicate values. And the eighth one is the semi-structured data model. The semi-structured data model is generalized form of the relational model, which allows representing data in a flexible way. Hence, we can not differentiate between data and schema in this model because in this model some entities have a missing attributes and on the other hand some entities might have some extra attributes which in turn makes it easy to update in the schema came to the example for example in semi-structure model uh, we can see it is an example for semi-structure okay we can see a data model to be semi-structured if in some attributes we are storing both atomic values atomic values are the values that can't be divided further for example load number as well as a collection of values in it is uh, a model which uh, um, some attributes how can store both atomic values like rule number which can be divided further and also the collection of values can store both of them the ninth one is associative data model the associative data model sees the data in the same way as the brain does like our brain okay entities and relationships between them the relationship is expressed as as simple English uh, English sentence of the form subject verb plus subject came to the example okay it is an example okay the full kit is a customer podcast customers ID is like this also Niraj is a customer Niraj customer ID is like this so we can make a table from these sentences English sentences like this okay we can create associative data model from this customer ID okay and name you can join those sentences in a table and also for the 10th number is the context data model. The context data model is nothing but a combination of several data models that have been discussed above. Okay, the combination of those data model is called as the context data model. So on this uh, slide, we have the advantages of data model. The data model ensures that the data is represented accurately. Our data should be represented accurately without any errors and mistakes. And the relationship between the data is well defined relationship of between data and data redundancy can be minimized and missing data can be identified easily for example there is a duplication of data that can be minimized and also the data which is missed we can find that easily and last but not the least security of the data is not compromised okay for the security purpose uh, the disadvantages of data models are that the biggest disadvantages of data model is one must know the characteristic of physical data to build a data model okay we should know about the characteristic of our data and the other one is that uh, sometimes a big databases okay the big data for example big companies it is quite difficult to understand the data model as the cost um, incurred is very high so for the big companies to have there is a big company so for that it is difficult to handle that and create a model for that and also the cost will be high for that so it was all about data models and the types of data models and also the advantages and disadvantages of data models so i have to go, the i hope that you got something from this video if you have any questions so you can ask me in the comment section thanks for watching